I'm gonna give you an analogy that was referenced in the book called The Deepest Well that is great for anyone who is um, interested in how your body responds to trauma. And this is how a lot of kids live day to day. So I want you to imagine that you're camping and all of a sudden a bear comes into your campground. Your body is going to respond with fight, flight, or freeze. You're either going to be ready to fight that bear, run away, or you're going to freeze and play dead because that's the instincts that you have. However, you know that you have a safe space that you can run to. So yes, a small portion of your day is going to be very stressful, but you know that you have a place that you can go that will give you refuge. So now I want you to imagine that you are stuck in that cave with that bear and you cannot leave. Your body is in a constant state of stress. You're constantly tiptoeing around that bear to make sure that they're not getting angry. You're doing everything that you can so that that bear does not attack you. Because when it does attack you, it's going to leave permanent scars on you. So let's go back and unpack that. The bear is a traumatic home life and the safe space and the refuge that you can run to is school. Where you know you're gonna have a meal, you know that there's gonna be grown-ups there that will protect you, you know you're just in a safe place. When you live with a bear, your body is in a constant state of stress. And that affects not only your mental health, but your physical health. And so when we get kids back in our building that have been with a bear for a whole week, you can imagine how difficult it is to remind them that they're safe and remind them that people are here to take care of them. I expect it after every break. And it's not all kids but you can tell which ones have been living in the cave.